So there's there's the northern groups, which are in northern, northwestern British Columbia and up into the Yukon. And they're the big, you know, big horns, the 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 classic mountain caribou that every pitch, everybody pitchers with the big white mane, like big, big impressive antlers, but like in the open step tundra type country. Those herds are generally kind of doing okay. Uh, the different herds in different areas, some are up, some are stable, some are increasing. Generally, those herds are okay in the northwestern part of British Columbia. They're still huntable. Then as you come east and south, they have what's called the, the southern mountain caribou herd, still a mountain caribou, but they're adapted to living in old growth forests, high elevation, old growth forests, old growth cedar hemlock forests. And they relied heavily on those forests, very different habitats. They are an endangered species in the province. They're not hunted anymore. Wow. And then there's a third group that's farther north uh, in the northeastern part of British Columbia, northwestern part of Alberta called the boreal subgroup. And they kind of live more in like the, the scrubby boreal forest region of the boreal forests. And they're also endangered. And it's habitat impact driven. The old growth forests, which came all the way down into the Cascade areas of Idaho, and they were targeted for logging. Old growth forests, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. That's where all your old timber is, your big timber, heavily logged. A lot of the habitat was then, you know, as it started to regenerate, favored moose. And hmm. so the moose population started to explode. The caribou started to get pressed into smaller and smaller areas with moose or where I live, it happened to be the explosion of white-tailed deer as well. And they like the logged areas, they, they do well in it. Then came the predators. The access was there, more abundant game, more predictable to find moose and whitetails. So the wolf populations exploded. Then you got caribou that were on the decline because their habitat was declining. Moose and white-tailed deer are increasing. The wolves are increasing with that food base. And then all of a sudden the wolves are like, oh, hey, look, a caribou. They go and kill it. Well, that's now 